evening. Well, Easter weekend, it's Easter Sunday today. I did make a video of actually planting my draw beans, but the microphone wasn't working, so there's no sound. So that's a waste of spoiling. Well, a waste of time that was. Never mind. So what? Why we're out here now, actually. Let's give you a little bit of a tour of the your seedlings, um, how I'm getting on with potting on stuff in the greenhouse. We've got the first greenhouse, which is the eight foot six foot one, made from um, basically six mil polycarb. Right, let's turn around, let's have a look. Right, that starts off with the some onions, these onion sets, weeds in here. Let's take these out. These are white onion. Sown these a while back. Well, they were sown, put in soil to be fair. But they look like the labels fell off. These here, this is a little bit of an experiment to see how this, how an old seeds would grow. These are leaf solid mix. 30 for the third. These ones back here. They're the same again, but they're a spicy mix. Exactly the same to see how they went on. This front tray here, this is my Calabrese. They will need potting on a bit of pots, or maybe actually potting on, or even putting outside to be fair. These ones here now at the back of the second tray, you can't see because everything is just random. These ones, these are actually my cauliflower. I think they could be ready to go into the ground as well. Let's put them back. Come on. I just change the camera settings, see if we can get you a little bit more wide. This one here now, these are spinach. They are ready now to go outside. I'll just put these down here for a second. At the back here, we've got red cabbage. This one here. These, these are red cabbage. They can go outside soon as well. I've got um, some pak choy, white. And these ones at the back here. These are my round cabbage. These ones again, will be able to go out. Now I need to desperately put some water in here. It's how warm it's been today. And put my spinach back in there for a second. Right, so now I've got two rows of beetroot. These are rainbow. These seeds might be getting a bit old because if you noticed, there's no germination on these. These ones are Baltardi beetroot. And once again, they're a bit hit and miss as well. This row here, I've got a row of Pak Joy Red. 8th of the 3rd, 22. Now I've actually now got a row, row of kale, cavalero, and that was the eighth of the third as well. Moving on to the next one is here. These again are a little bit hit and miss. Some did and some didn't. These are charred bright lights, eighth of the third again. And these ones here at the very end. I'll put my hand behind them. These are kohlrabi. Now in the corner here, I have pointed cabbage. They are definitely ready for going out. That's why I'm frantically trying to get the allotment done. I'll put them down there for a second. Now here, I've got a tray, another tray of cabbage. Winscar, I think. Can't remember the sound that correctly. Never mind, there you go. Well, the back's there. These ones here. These are leeks. And these here. These are greyhound cabbage. Moving down the shelf here. These are chilies. All these are habaneros. These were actually potted on. Um, because I bought them from Lidl, I couldn't resist. Pack of six, £1.79. 
can't go wrong go across this tray here some of these are desperate to go out get out let's turn around so you can see which what they are so this one here we've got dwarf chard this one here is beet leaf all these are sown at the same time fourth or third this one here is an all-round cabbage desperately need to be potted on so that's a job for tomorrow and i think these are cabbage as well yes they are let's move along a bit more let's go down on the shelf these are my peas really really bad not germinated at all don't know why looks like i'll have to redo some but they're snap and these ones here to their main stroke. Now there is my little country plant and when I'm using Morrison's I'm nose round, I couldn't resist but I've got two trees, not two shrubs. One is a loganberry, £3.75. Look at the size of that, really good. This one here is a blackberry. Now I've got these because I pulled them out of the original allotment because they had overgrown and I had to string them right way down. Let's go away with my little blow away polytunnels I keep on calling it. You probably hear me talking a lot when I'm actually doing seeds in the small greenhouse I always say we're going to put them in here. So these here are the brands of Tomic and if you guys a look they are about 12 inches high now. At the back, we've got Marmaid, the big variety. Moving across to this tray here, these are the Super Mamas. They made a real nice um, soup last year. Going down, these are the peppers that I sewn on about two weeks ago, maybe. Some are now starting to get the main leaves come through. Like this one here, only got baby leaves. Sweet pepper, cayenne peppers, jalapenos, foot long at the back here, and that's another sweet pepper. Going across here to the more tomatoes. These are the ones I potted on. These are the balcony yellow, designed for hanging baskets. Thankfully, it looks like all six plants survived. And while I was out and about, I bought this one as well, a black cherry. So I'm not going to seeds. This was eight to nine pence. Seeds were two pound fifty. No brainer. I only wanted one plant. In here, a look. We've got shine. That means we've got a slug somewhere. These here are my um, courgettes ambassador. All those. Once again, they're a lot needy water as well. I think I need to find out where this slug is coming from before he starts doing damage. It's either a slug or a snail. He must have managed to get in when this dried out. Down here, I've got old gene starting to show the heads through. Shift that leaf out of the way. Here, I've got one called Jet. They're the um, Black Beauties, only one's germinated, it's a lie, one starts to come through over there. This one here, let's turn you around, squash, not done anything as of yet, and we've got more American spinach. I didn't think these had actually germinated, so I did another tray, and they did, but these took so long. These here are the broad beans, I've just put them in some water, because when I actually Planted outside, they would be very, very dry. This needs to go back up on the shelf. So let's spin you around. Put that up there, all the way. Put it over there, not doing any damage. So in here, we have a, a future that overwintered and another comfort plant. 22 challenge potatoes. They're now starting to well and truly grow up. 22. 
and that one there's a 22 and these are my Petland Javelin so we walk outside all these are overwintered garlic those two are the elephant garlics so you walk across the garden these are my old winter shots and on the corner is chai that's grown back that bed has been done it's actually been prepped ready these are the beans, some are sulking still and all these are the potatoes you can actually see on some of them you can see that's just starting to grow I need to recover that one. These are the white onion, overwintered. The bed of leeks, we had some of them, but then they got rust. So I pulled them out, chopped some up and put them into our recycled bin. I'm not taking it to allotment because I don't want actual contamination there. Let's take it over to the standard beds. Now this one, these are a red onion, I think. Soon so when they start showing the head. Look how small they are compared to these. These are red onion, I think they're white. But yeah, same soil on something that actually grow. These house. These are strawberries now, starting to look a bit better. I'm gonna take these out, some of these, take them out, this soil. It's actually garbage. So what I might do is I might dig this out, put it in bags, take it to the allotment, and just put it as a base to fill some of the beds. And let's take you over to the small one. So I've left the scaffolding boards. As you can see, sawdust have worked when I cut them. In here, these are the blackberry. Yes, I know I've got a blackberry in the greenhouse, but the blackberry in the greenhouse is for the lemon. This one here is a blueberry, I think, because it yeah, blueberry. That one snapped. This one here, they are my raspberries. These are pathetic. These are supposed to be onions, not grown. And here, if you get to look, it's starting to get growth. These were the ass jokes that Mandy Moose sent me. So let's go into the small greenhouse. In here, a bit of a dumping ground at the moment, because um, I'm just working environment, let's say. Pressure, garbage, uh, kingfisher, waste time. This thing here just keeps on leaking. Put too much pressure in, just blows the cap off. Absolute crap. Right up here, we've got spring onions. Now, here's the, the Eiffel. And I've got two trays. It looks like they need watering. But I've got a little jam. Done nothing. And I've got a mix of red and white spring onions. They've done nothing as well. They are old seeds. They are going to get found in a bit and binned. Over here, these are a little bit of salad. These are like lettuces. Uh, that's the up to here, that way. They're all rosa. Four deep, three cross. And the other ones on this side, once again, four deep, three cross. And those are the saxos. So there you have it guys, a little bit of a tour of the garden and the greenhouse. I will try and put an audit over how I actually planted out my broad beans. But I was having a proper chat with everybody while I was doing it. And no volume, but never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up or thumbs down, all just for the algorithm of YouTube. Bye now.